what's up guys sal here so oneplus has been dropping bits and pieces of information about its next smartphone over the past few weeks it's something that the company has done since the very beginning to drive up hype now they have revealed that the oneplus 60 is gonna come with a new user interface and improved navigation gestures it hasn't shown off the new user interface just yet that will obviously be revealed once the device itself is announced what the company has said is that, and I quote, we've got a whole new UI coming up that you'll have to experience for yourself to really understand. This mention of a whole new UI is a bit of a mystery. I mean, how much will be changing? OnePlus needs to understand that one of the reasons people buy their phones is that they offer near stock Android experience. If OnePlus lose sight of this and move further away from stock Android, it will piss a lot of people off and might affect their purchasing decision. So OnePlus has to be really careful not to tinker too much. We already know that the OnePlus 6T will have an in-display fingerprint scanner but we didn't know which type of scanner it's gonna be. There are two types of in-display scanners available on the market, the optical scanners and the ultrasonic scanners. And the one the 6T is coming with is not the best one. It will have an optical scanner. This sensor, by the way, is not as secure as the ultrasonic scanner. Let me explain you in simple terms the difference between the optical and ultrasonic sensors. Optical uses image recognition to figure out if it's your finger or not. Some optical sensors can be fooled into allowing you in if you have a very high detail picture. Ultrasonic on the other hand reads your finger directly and figures out from the channels and grooves on your finger whether it's yours and if it's a real finger. Simply put, the ultrasonic 3D scans your finger, while the optical scanner scans your finger to get a 2D reading. But that doesn't mean the optical scanners are bad. They're secure enough to be used in most of the banking applications. But if you want the highest level of security, the ultrasonic sensor is the one to go for. By the way, I can understand why OnePlus went with the optical scanner. It is cheaper to implement, which would be important to OnePlus as one of the main selling points of its phones are their relatively low prices. And if you're holding out for an ultrasonic scanner, then the Galaxy S10 will have one. And not just any ultrasonic scanner, but a cutting edge third generation one. But you'll have to wait until 2019 for that phone and pay a lot more than you would for the OnePlus 6T. Anyway, this device will get official on October 30th and will be released from November 2nd onwards. Do let me know your thoughts on this phone down in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.